the real question that we have to ask when we're looking at is, are we looking at a market shift or a paradigm shift? Because it's one or the other and it's coming. So either we are going to have a cooling off window where multifamily starts to produce higher returns, or we are moving into a world where we no longer look at the metrics of multifamily and value multifamily through the metric of cash flow. Which is it? Well, the first would be a market shift. The second would be a complete paradigm shift to where we just decide multifamily no longer needs to cash flow. And we're okay with that because that's what we're saying. If we take today's trends and follow them all the way to fruition, if, if we see a trending cap rate, you know, compression, a, a trend of compression, okay, fine. So cap rates are going to compress to what? Zero? Negative one? I mean, that's, that's the pattern, isn't it? Well, I mean, if, you know, a, a zero cap rate world, I mean, I guess that could exist. I don't think that will exist, but it could. And that's kind of what we're saying. So even if the pattern continues on and it's, it doesn't shift, then we're all going to be buying real estate without ever looking at cash flow again. Uh, and if not, then we're looking at a market cycle where we're going to have to kind of hold on to these things and bring some returns back into them. It could be either or. You know, in, in that concept of, of just assets being traded without cash flow, that's not a crazy concept. Is it crazy in America? I hope so. Not crazy in a lot of other world countries around the planet where they really don't produce a lot of cash flow. Our neighbor to the north, Canada, uh, Japan, you know, a lot of the Asian countries, they don't really see a lot of positive cash flow, but yet values still go up and they still trade real estate. So it's not to say that's an impossible concept. I think Americans are probably going to be a little more on the entrepreneurial side, probably want uh, a little more cash flow. We'll see. I don't know. But um, it's possible that we could go to that, that model. That would be a paradigm shift. So I don't know. I think that we're going to see a cooling off and we'll see cash flow, not a complete shift away from cash flow, my opinion.